Good morning. I'm going to tell you a scary story about sheep prices. No, I wouldn't tell you a story that scary. So we're just on our way down to get the feed cut because we need to feed the fat lambs today. I fed everything yesterday, well, all the ewes and lambs, but we need to feed the fat lambs again because we need to get them to wait. So while I'm putting this on, I'll catch you up. We had two 300 lambs go this week. Um, I think they went on the weekend and they were off that oat paddock. But we also changed this plug. It's now a square plug instead of a circle plug. This trailer, it's working. Don't say it too loudly or you'll jinx it. As you might be able to tell, it's pretty wet and wild outside today. I heard up in Denny, Daniloquin, they got a meter and a half of rain. Are you good? Are you chilly slug? Are you a chilly slug? Yeah, so this is the current vibe. I don't think we're gonna be harvesting this week. I have my fluffy jumper on. It's probably gonna be filth by the end of the day, but I'll be comfortable. We are here. What is up, my dudes? Are you ready for some breakfast? Just opening it up now, so I'm hoping it's coming out. Yes, it is. Look at that. It's working beautifully. These lambs look pretty good um, for the most part. Get it in your bellies. The rain is horizontal. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's there. Um, probably don't need. Oh, no, we do need that on to keep the windows clear. Sorry, Slug, you're gonna have to deal with it. There's the barley crop that I've been showing you all this time. It's looking all right. Uh, we would like the moisture to drop so we can get it off. That would be great. But yeah, it's all kind of bent over. It's all turned, it's all dead. We just need to wait for that moisture to come down. Just feeding the rest of the lambs on the oat. Late oats now. They're all running over, I think. This is what's left from what went. This is what they're looking like. These are the small ones that weren't big enough to go on the truck. For the contracts we do, we need um, sheep above four, between 45 and 60-ish kilo. After they've been processed, they roughly go to about half the weight. So say 50 kilos will go down to about 20, between 25 and 30 kilo. Slug, it looks like you're gonna get a good moisten today, but just not in the dam. While I was getting out here, I thought maybe I'll add a new segment called like Australian culture with Tara. Culture with Tara, I don't know. Something, come up with a name in the comments. Today, I wanna cover school holidays because I'm pretty sure High school students will be on holidays when this video, or about to be on holidays when this video comes out. High school finishes for the year around early December, and then they have holidays all the way through until uh, end of January-ish. Primary schools, which I think is like elementary in the US, um, primary schools go close to Christmas, I think the week before, and then they'll go through till, um, January. Then we have two weeks in March slash April around Easter. Then we have another two weeks or three, depending on what school you go to, in the middle of the year, which around June, July. And then we have another two or three weeks, depending on your school, um, in September. And our school years go from January through to December. That's not what you're here for, though. You're here for these guys. Actually, let's be honest. You're here for her. She is the star of the show. It's Slug Farms now. Last week, I mentioned that I have a drop in retention when I'm filling up the feed cart and I got my feet out. That wasn't intentional. However, it was fucking hilarious. Um, we won't be doing that again this week. Bad luck. Again, that content's not going online for free. Maybe Slug. There's Slug's feet. Front bin's full. Back bin's full. Off we go. Choo choo! Their lambs actually are waiting expectantly for their food, which they haven't done before, so that's a good sign. They're very warily walking over. Find the food! Search for the food. There's a massive pile there because it was got blocked up. I wonder where the food could be. Hmm. I'm not sure. They're looking everywhere but where the fucking food is. 
just trying to steer them over there it's not working that great because they're kind of just doing what lambs do and walking into the abyss that was a process but now it's done what are you i'm just out in the rape paddock here i've just fed these lambs we're done now but i wanted to show you this so this is the rape now this is what it's looking like it's quite good it's quite thick in this patch here you can see where it goes up sorry about the wind uh, mother nature's not playing games today we actually planted a couple more paddocks of it this week to get the smaller lambs that haven't been weaned yet um, bigger so they can grow and prosper just on my way to take the bin off i'm hoping the rain lets up because we're going to be moving sheep just through a a gateway and i think that would look sick on camera because i've got the drone here trailers off and so are we i think it's too wet to maybe put the drone up so we're gonna be moving some sheep slug she's thrilled she can't wait to go outside in the rain here are the ladies here we're moving get that dash cam footage release the slug typo <laughs> I think she's, my hair is at the door. Yes, gather them, my child. Gather the goblins. Off you go. Come on. <whistles> Makes it really hard when you're feeding them because they do shit like this. Come on, let's go. Ho, ho. Right, now we're cooking. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Right, typo, get in the car. Here are the other merinos that we're moving. There are some, another, like, they've kind of split into two mobs. They are two mobs that we've kind of gathered together. I'm hoping they might come up and I can just move them out like this that would be ideal but i don't think that's gonna work i've played around with them and it's just not working so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna leave the gate open and hopefully they might come through on their own and someone might be able to come up and shut the gate tomorrow i just i can't access the ones i'll show you when i get up to the other side i can't access them down here in any sort of vehicle oh that looks like they might have come up a little bit i'll go back i'll try again after a lot of fucking around we've got them over here so i'm hoping they'll just follow this laneway or the the grass all the way up and through the gate there's a couple there that are straying off typo <whistles> oh, she was already onto it i didn't even need to tell the slug look at her go you can't see her, but she's there. Typo! I think she was already onto it. I just need to let her do her thing. I need to stop micromanaging slug. I'm really impressed with her recently. Like, she... <laughs> she just said it. <laughs> oh, beautiful. All right. That was a lot of stuffing around. As you can see, their bums have been strike mastered normally clicked you can put click on and it prevents blow sh um fly strike which is a good tool to have however it does have a long withholding period so you can't do it on animals you are going to sell within the next i think is it it's either 90 or 180 days i can't remember but it's a really long time and you can't you can only put it on little lambs because you bigger lambs, you won't be able to sell grass seeds away from your eyeballs. They are not meant to grow in the slug, they are meant to grow in the ground. She's upset I took her seeds. I've lost my I lost my first pink hat. I bought another one and I've left it at home. So this is what we've got for this afternoon. I'm just gonna shut this gate here and then also the one over there. And we're going to be bringing down more of the crossbreds and fat lambs we'll get these ladies and germs in and out of the way and we can bring the other ones through and out to the road come on ladies hopefully they're not gonna chase me around because that would be really annoying 
Into the pen, please. Come on. Until they've got no other option. It's not recording. They're in there now. Okay, these are the lovely ladies we're going to be taking up. Are you going to follow me all the way out or not? This is my slow. If I slow down, they think I'm feeding out. So... I'm hoping they'll run all the way up and then through the gate. Oh, they look like they're losing interest. All right, dog it is. We tried the carrot. Now for the stick. Righto, go. The one white sheep is an Australian white ewe. She just, we, we bought her, we bought two of them. One of them died, but she's shedding. She looks fantastic, but that's why, that's why there's one here that looks very different to the rest. As I was saying about sheep breeds, can you tell the sheep breeds apart? Even her lamb looks totally different to the rest of them. You can tell if you like pause it, you should be able to see her and her lamb. Her lamb's got a whiter coat than the others. There they are there. Right, so one of those are a lamb, one is not near her. Oh, uh, come on, out the gate. We've played this long enough now. We need to go, we need to go now. It's time to go, thank you. This hat is pissing me off. Slowly get them to walk over towards the yards. As soon as we have them in the yards, then we're home free and it's easy. It's an easy cruise down. The you can be out. I don't know why you got in. I did not ask you to get in the car. That use fly blown. Now this is why they're coming down. All right, Dad, I'll have to let Dad know he can crutch her when he gets them in the shed. As I was saying, these guys have jumped the queue. They're, you bloody nuisances. <laughs> you fucking know what you're doing up there. They go up there because they know you can't get to them. However, Typo, go left. <whistles> I do have a dog that will get you off that bloody hill. No! She's left that gap open. They're gonna walk down there. Who would have thought? <laughs> right. No, that you're still gonna cause problems because she's looking around. If they're gonna walk, they're gonna do what they're doing and just put their head down and walk. When they've got their heads up like that, they're looking for escape routes. They're gonna walk around the other side of the den. <laughs> ho, 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 ho! They only went in there because one of the front ones saw the sheep already in there. Stop there. Wait there. I don't know how I feel about the wind. I'll stand on the other side of the car and make sure it doesn't just... Woo! <laughs> oh, look at it go. There we go. Look at that. has a 15k range so theoretically I could get the sheep from the paddock and bring them home without having to actually go anywhere. There it is there I'm gonna see if I can set it up to just follow the sheep. It's meant to have a feature where you can highlight things and it'll follow it but it won't um, for some reason it won't track yeah, I won't track the sheep. When these drones can track sheep and run longer, mate, work dogs are going to be out of a job. You're a pretty impressive dog, Maverick. Mavic? I don't think there's an R in it. His, his name's Maverick, I've decided. I have Slug and Maverick, but Slug needs to be moistened, so... Does move the sheep, which is I like that. I 
like that very much. See, look, it does what I ask it to. Could you imagine? They are about to go in the gate, I think, so I'm gonna set the drone up for that. Pipo should be going out towards the road at any time now. There she is on the road. idea how that's gonna look hopefully good <laughs> that would be good if it was good I got the drone as a little treaty treat for when I hit a hundred thousand so let me know what you think of the footage and if you like it I imagine it'll look better if there was more sheep there wasn't real that's a pretty small mob that one so at the bare minimum hopefully it looks better the footage looks better than the first than the I was standing on my shoelace and had to like jar me bits on the gate before you ask no it wasn't a good time hopefully at the very least the quality is at least better than the other one got my sign we'll head back now i'm heading down now we're going to put them in the shed because dad's going to he's almost finished what he's but you can't do this because i can't turn that off now i've just set the yards up here are the sheep We'll bring them over now, oh, won't we, Slug? I don't know what that position is, but sure. Hopefully we'll get them in the shed inside before more rain comes. It looks like it might come. Let's go through the gate. There we go. That's good. Just staying on their heels. I like that. Good Slug. Good job. Coming around to scoop them in. Very good, very good. Bring those sheep in the shed. Ewes are coming off the land. Lambs are being crushed now. I'm just um, finishing setting up the foot bath for them to go through when they leave. And then that's it. Thank you for watching. Like or type a bit. Typo will put you through the foot bath. Hello, members. So I had a little trip to Bunnings this morning. So I'm going to plant these while I answer. These gloves are on the wrong way. While I answer your questions. <laughs>